part two of our little adventure here with our uh, geocool three ton uh, geothermal heat pump system from uh, Ingram's Water and Air. We're fixing to uh, go get it from the trucking terminal. Uh, part one, we went and got the first bit that had all the hoses, pumps, valves, and manifolds, and all that. And, uh, you know, that come from one location, and then the unit itself had to be custom built. So it took a while for them to get it built, and it came from Florida somewhere. But anyway, so it's here, and we got to go down to this other trucking terminal and get it. And uh, so uh, stay tuned. And, guys are quick. See this guy ain't gonna smack my tailgate like the other guy did. Oh I'm going in a little well there we go. Oh there we go. Can we slide it all the way forward? Or? Uh not all the way forward but a little bit more forward would be nice. That'll do. All right. Much obliged. Yes, sir, man. Be careful out there. We will. You too. That's the expensive bit right there. Well, that was a lot quicker than the other set, wasn't it? Okay, so now what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to dig our trenches for our geothermal uh, horizontal ground loop. And with, uh, uh, in Tennessee, according to the information that I got, about six foot down is a stable 50 to 53 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely perfect for uh, our ge geothermal uh, installation that we're planning. So basically what we need to do with our three ton unit it's going to require for a straight horizontal ground loop is going to require three trenches 250 feet long. So um, now we're fortunate that you know we have enough property to where I can do a straight run of 250 feet. Not everybody has that luxury and then they have to do the slinky loop or they'll have to do a vertical well in some instances. And, uh, that gets expensive, but uh, so what we've done already now is we've marked off where our you know where our trenches are going to have to go. We laid down the right orange string so I can follow it. But in order to dig trenches like this, you're going to have to go to your tool shed and pull out one of these. We're starting to dig and this is the first hole already in 10 minutes he got that much done. So as you can see this does not take long at all with this bucket.
any further right there. Yeah. That's the old water line. That's the old one. Okay. is our old water line but we are going to be digging out here and we'll be crossing our new water line that'll be later Two hundred and seventy dollars for twenty-four tons of That's a big crusher pile of rock. rock. It's a very big pile of rock. <laughs> but that's what we'll rake back over across the driveway when we get our trenches yep. filled back in. So I'm hoping that'll be enough. It should. So, alrighty. Back to digging. Back to digging. <laughs> 